let's get started. So in this video we'll talk about uh, the most fundamental core concepts of Java. Uh, we'll discuss objects and classes. So what is a class, what is an object, what's the difference when we use class or object. Yeah. Okay, so by this time it's supposed that you have an environment set up. Uh, so you have an Eclipse, uh, Java SDK, everything is configured to work together. If you have not done that yet, so on the right top corner you should see a link to a video. So it's a kind of manual how to do that. Uh, so please please watch it if needed. Also it's supposed what you, that you know what is a variable, what are primitive types of variables available in Java, so you are quite confident how to create a variable, how to work with it. If not, once again, on the top right corner, you should have a link to a video where you can learn about that. Um, but other than that, let's start. Okay, so what is the class? Uh, so a class could be defined as a well, some kind of structure yeah, uh, which defines a set of uh, data or data structure yeah, and also some actions or manipulations which could be done with these data structures. Right? So, for example, here we have an example. Here it is a definition of class uh, rectangle. So as you can see we have two uh, variables of type float defined. So that's our data structure for the class and also we have three methods or three actions defined for this class. So the first one is a constructor. Uh, so that's a special type of method. Uh, any class should have at least one such method. So about constructors we'll talk about in details in the next video. Just for now you should remember that each class should hold at least one constructor. Yeah, and this method is needed to create an object out of a class. Okay. And two other methods which allows us to manipulate with uh, data structures of the class. Uh, so for example we have a method or action area which using these two variables computes an area of this particular rectangle. Uh, so the same applies to perimeter uh, method. So based on the values of these two variables we somehow manipulate the data and get the perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, so that's about a class. So that's a structure of data or variables and some actions or methods uh, which allow us to manipulate with these data structures. Right? And from classes let's jump to objects. So object uh, could be defined as a given implementation of a particular class. Right? So here we see two objects, rectangle 1 and rectangle 2. These are two implementations of a class rectangle. Right? Uh, so here you can see for example that we have some variables, side 1 and side 2, inside of the class, but they are not defined. Right? So we don't have any particular values uh, of these variables available here. Uh, but if we move to objects, so then we have a particular implementation of a given class, then all variables are defined. Usually it is done using constructor, like it's shown here. Uh, so don't afraid. So we'll talk in details about constructors in the next video. So just for now, as it was said before, constructor is needed to create an object out of a class. Okay. 
Okay, so once we have an object, so for that purpose we need first to define a variable uh, to 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 store a link to this particular object uh, and also pay attention that the type of this particular variable in our case it's rectangle 1 uh, it should have the same type as a class for which we create an object right so uh, we create an object of type rectangle so that's why the type of this variable rectangle 1 should be rectangle right and once we have done that we can uh, call any methods defined within a class like area and perimeter yeah so the same applies here we create a second object of the type rectangle so the variable is of type rectangle with a different size uh, so different values of the class variables and then we can also use we can also use all methods defined for a particular class uh, okay so that's all about theory I really want to keep it short and let's get our hands dirty so to say with Java so let's jump into Eclipse so here we should have a project from our previous video related to uh, related to variables types of variables or primitive types uh, so we can delete everything from here uh, so we should have only empty main method and let's create a new class let's define a new class rectangle like we have here okay uh, so as you remember uh, it's a good practice to keep each class in a separate file right so let's create a new class so we do that by double uh, right clicking on the package and selecting new class okay so let's call it rectangle angle okay let it be public so we can create uh, any or uh, any objects out of this class uh, calling constructors from from outside of this particular class also uh, as you might remember in the previous videos we used this public static void checkbox uh, because we need to have such a method if we want to make our class executable uh, for rectangle it's not applicable so we don't want to run a program out of the rectangle so we don't need to check it just let it as it is okay rectangle finish okay so here we have a file of our new class rectangle uh, so everything what is written inside these brackets is supposed to be class variables and class methods okay so let's start by defining these variables as we have here so it's float side one and float side two okay so let's keep a uh, constructor for now because we'll use it or talk about constructors in general in details during next video so let's not touch it for now and let's define these two methods or actions which could be done with our defined structures right so the first one the first one was area okay public float area okay so let's talk a bit about method definition so what are these keywords about so the first one we see a keyword public uh, so what public means is that this method could be called by any other methods or object uh, so another option is to use private 
and in that case this method could be called only by other methods of this class or object right so if we define it as a private this method could be called only by this object created of out of this particular class right and the third option to use here is a protected that's something in between uh, so if we define method as a protected it means that this method could be called by any class inside a given package uh, but still we'll talk about that in details a bit later so just for your information most of the methods are public ones uh, okay uh, so the second keyword is a type and this type means what is the result of running this method what is the result of executing this method so in this case it's defined as float that means that the result of running this method area is a number of type float uh, so actually here we can use any type we want uh, so in general any type could be used here either it's a primitive type or it could be a class right so no restrictions here but just to remember that here we just put a type of returning value of the method so what is the result of running this particular method on the third position here we actually have a name of the method right so in our case it's area and here in the brackets if applicable we should mention all input parameters or input data required for this method to work uh, so in this in this case we don't need any input data because all data structures defined within a given class are accessible by, by all methods within the same class right so from area we can easily access these variables uh, so we don't need to mention them as a input parameters right and finally we should somehow write a code to state what this method should return or what is the result of running this particular method so that's why now we have an error uh, and Eclipse is highlighting that that this method must return a result of type float uh, so right now we didn't define that okay so that is done by using a keyword return uh, so we specify what the value will be returned and as you all know so the area of rectangle is a multiplication of both sides right okay so of course if our method is more complicated we can have some other code here but always the last command or last instruction of each method if it is supposed to return something should be return and the value right okay uh, let's similarly define another another method okay return it's side one plus side one plus side two and plus side two okay that's a parameter okay so we have defined our class yeah so we skipped a uh, constructor for now okay but uh, what we should know for now that each class even if we don't define it explicitly has a constructor a default constructor yeah which 
will be used now by us to uh, create an object with the type rectangle new rectangle okay so believe me or not but we have just with this command created a new object of type rectangle okay and once we have this rectangle so we, the variable angle 1 we also have access to methods which are defined for a class right so we have access to variables first of all right side one and side two and also we have access to methods so it's area and parameter also we have other methods defined which are not mentioned here so why it happens we'll talk later when we'll touch a topic called inheritance right but for now you should remember that each class actually has more methods available than it's defined in the class right because of inheritance okay so that would be all for today right so today we briefly discussed classes and objects in java what is a class what is an object what is the difference between them and how we can create a class how we define it and how we create an object out of a class so next time in the next video we'll talk about constructors of a class uh, so what is a constructor how we can define it whether we can or we cannot define multiple constructors and so on uh, but that's all for today thanks to all for watching if you have any questions or comments you are welcome to post them below the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet other than that thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye